What's going on everybody? So today, it's freaking hot in here. Turn on the AC. I hear it kick on. So we should be good to go. But there's a problem. Let's step outside. And I can hear that it's on. It's making a noise, a little hum. But as you can see, this, the fan is not spinning. And you can try to kind of knock it. But in this case, it's, it's not helping. I already tried that. So I, I'm unable to get this fan going, which means there's something wrong. So we're going to have to open this up and check it out. It could be the capacitor, but it could also be the motor. As you can see, it's pretty damn old. So I'm hoping it's just the capacitor or it could be something else. I'm not really sure. You can kind of see some of the wires from in here, but we're going to go and open it from the side. But before we do, first I'm going to go inside, shut off the AC. AC off. So it's not humming, it's off, but before opening it or doing anything, I'm gonna come over here, make sure there's no power to this. And you see there's something you can just pull out. In this case, one of these, just pull this out. You'll have something similar if you just follow the big cable, the power cable, and you'll be able to cut that power off by pulling something like this out. Make sure there's no power going to this when you start putting your hands in there and messing with it. So now that we've got that done, I'm going to go ahead and remove the bolts. It's really, this one just came out. And there's one more. And since I already got one out, 8 millimeter in this case. This one is so in so lightly, I didn't even have to use anything but the, uh, the, the socket here. Okay. Here we are. No power is going to this. Um, but we're just first just going to take a glance at what's going on here. All the wires look okay. Uh, here we have the capacitor. It looks pretty good. But there will be a way to test that out in a second. Just taking a look at everything. Everything looks fine. So usually this part right here, this little relay, doesn't go bad. That's probably fine. There is a way to check that. You can see it has this little button you can press and turn it on and off. So the power will go from the electricity is going to come in. It's going to go through here. This is kind of what kicks it on and off. Then it's going to come in and eventually it's connected to the capacitor which is important for the fan to spin, which is why the capacitor is usually what's wrong in these situations. Okay, so first thing, we're going to check out this capacitor. Just kind of discharging it here real quick with some sort of insulated handle, screwdriver or something, but there's no power going to it. And definitely before you unhook anything, make sure you see how it's set up. Different ones are going to have different colors. Make sure you take a picture, get a good look at it. But before I even unhook, connect it, disconnect it, I'm going to actually remove this screw here. Once I remove this little screw here, it takes a flat head, but I just was able to get it out like that. Um, then we can actually take it out and get a better look at how it's connected. Let's see, it was installed. Last year, it's installed in July 16th of 21. It doesn't look bad. Usually when they go bad, it's, it's kind of bulging out on either end. It actually looks okay. So yellow to Herm, brown, no tape to the fan. Brown, no tape is the fan. Brown with tape and blue goes over here to C. You can see the little label, C, Herm. Okay, this is probably good, uh, which is... Um, which means it could be the motor, but there will be a way to check that. So I'm going to disconnect all of these now. So in order to check the capacitor, I have a multimeter with the option here with this little symbol, microfarads. Okay. And to make it even easier, these little guys, I can kind of connect to the end of my, uh, my uh, multimeter leads, and it will connect right on to 
the uh, capacitor. Not necessary, but a little bit easier for me. So we're going to start with C. Put one on here. And then the other one will go to Herm. Okay. Okay, we're on microfarads here. And I'm showing when I connect it to C and Herm comes up at 44.28, close enough to 45. And then the other reading should be five. We're gonna remove it from Herm and put it over on fan. Okay, now it's on fan and C should be about five, 4.93. And it's close enough. 4.93, it's close enough. It is a little bit low, but obviously this should be good. I mean, it's close enough. So I think that this capacitor is okay. Now we're gonna find out what's going on here in a second. And we're gonna measure the voltage that's coming into this baby to make sure it's getting the proper voltage. And if so, we could have a bad motor here okay so i put the capacitor back connected it all back up the way it was um still no power going to it but what i'm gonna check in a second so put the power back in power is going to come through here and see these two points right here those should read the proper amount of voltage and these do, won't read that unless it's on unless you turn it on I could turn it on by pressing this button. Yeah, just gotta be very, very careful. And once the power is on, you gotta be extremely careful not to put your finger, not touch anything, electrocute yourself. Um, that being said, everything looks fine. Okay, I got this back on. Checking the voltage now, and you can see we're good. 245 voltage. So I know this is all good, and if you turn it on and then check here, also I'm getting 250 volts. The voltage is good, capacitor is good, so I believe that this is a bad motor. All right, we're good to go. Got a new motor installed. This is our suspected.